Hello, and welcome to this episode of Stata in 5, where we provide intuitive introductions to Stata commands in under five minutes. This is your host, Chris Curran, and in this episode, we'll be talking about the use of the Stata command sample for the use of drawing simple random samples from a larger set of data. Let's jump right in. As usual, we have on the right-hand side of our screen the new file. Again, this is where we write all of the syntax or all of the code that we plan to execute to analyze our data. On the left-hand side of the screen, we have the Stata output window. So we'll begin with a few commands that are probably familiar to you. The first is setting the working directory. So again, if you're not familiar with this command, the cd command just tells Stata which folder your file will be located in or which folder you want to save files to when you use the save command. Following that, we'll use the use command to actually open a data set. So in this demonstration, I'll be using some data from the National Center of Education Statistics that basically has data on all school districts in the United States. So that file is called School District Census. And again, we use this, the use command in Stata to open Stata formatted data. So let's go ahead and execute those first two commands, setting the directory and opening the data. I can see after I execute those commands that the data was successfully loaded. The variable names are present in this window and the name of the file is present um, down in the lower right of the output window. Now, if you notice, this uh, file has about 18,000 observations. I can see that here. I could also use the count command to count the number of observations in the data set. And if I executed the count command, I would see in this data output window that there are 18,045 observations in the full data set. Now, let's imagine that you wanted to collect data on a number of school districts. Obviously, collecting data from 18,000 school districts might be cost and time prohibitive. So what you might want to do instead is take a simple random sample. And again, the idea of a random sample is just that you're essentially drawing names out of a hat. Every observation, in this case every school district, has the same probability of being selected. So to take a sample in Stata, we'll use the command sample. The command is simply the word sample, and then a number. In this case, we'll sample 10% of the larger data set. So I'll say sample 10, highlight that code and execute it. And I'll see in my output window that in this case, 90% of the observations were dropped, a little over 16,000 of them. So what this command has done is it's randomly chosen 10% of the original data set to keep. In other words, it's sampled 10% of the data set. Now, an alternative with the sample command, instead of sampling a percentage, is to instead sample a specific number. So let's imagine that instead of wanting to sample 10%, I wanted to sample 300 observations. Well, to do this, I could again start with my data set. So I'll reopen the data set. And then I'll say sample 300. But this time, I'll add an argument, comma count. And the comma count simply tells Stata that rather than sampling a percentage, interpret the number given as the number of observations that we want to sample. So if I was to then run sample 300, comma count, I should see that a number of observations have been deleted and that if I was to run count command again, I only have 300 observations left. So a quick distinction there, right? The comma count with the sample command is an argument telling sample to use the number as the number of observations to be sampled. Count by itself on its own line is a standalone command that actually counts the number of observations in the data. Now, one final point about the sample command in this data. If I was to again begin with my data set and sample 10% as I did before, and then browse my data to actually see the data, I would notice that the first school district in my data set in this case is the Brookline Newfane Joint School District. If I was to, however, run this data again, I now see that the first school district is the Walnut Bend Integrated School District. And again, I could continue to repeat this process, finding that each time the sample would be different. And of course, this is what we would expect with a random sample each time we get a random set of school districts. However, this can be problematic if you want to either replicate your random sample or if you want to share this code with someone else and have them draw the same random sample. So we can all, all um, advise our code, amend our code with one additional command, which is called the set seed command. In set seed, the command looks like this. We say set seed, and then we pass it any number we want. It's entirely irrelevant what number you put here. But by using set seed before the sample command, this will force data to always take the same random sample. So now if I run this code, I see that my top school district is Wheaton R3. And if I was to run the code again, I see that the top school district is still Wheaton R3. So I'm still getting a random sample, but by using set seed, I'm able to ensure that I get the same random sample each time. In other words, I have reproducible sampling. 
All right, so in these quick five minutes, we've run through the way to take a simple random sample in Stata. We've introduced the sample command, the sample command with comma count, as well as the use of set seed to do reproducible sampling. I hope this was a useful five minutes for you and adding a, a few more tools to your Stata toolkit. If you found this useful, please do subscribe for further series in the Stata in 5, as well as other tutorials on the use of Stata. Thank you so much and look forward to seeing you again soon.